Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these seed bead oranges earrings. I'm showing step by step and I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. Yes, they are big but I'm showing them in easy steps so you will go there. I promise you could always ask me anything in the comments. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell and I want to thank to all of the people that like, share and comment my videos. Down there in description there are a lot of useful resources and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. And now without further ado let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 ounce seed beads and here I'm also using earring findings in old gold color. This is Nymo nylon thread, which is soft nylon thread, the size is D or 0.3 millimeters. And by the way, you could check description for full list of materials, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. And you will also see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel, which now is a course of five peyote stitch tutorials that you will see besides the other perks. So let's continue. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use size 12 as well. I think it will work with size 10, but it will be easier for you with 11 or 12. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory. I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take a little bit more than an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and I'm going to start my work by picking up eight black beads. Okay and I have here my eight on my needle and I'm going to slide all of those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made. In this way I make surgeon's knot or half hitch knot. Then you could make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. And now guys you have this beautiful circle. Now what I want to do is go here in this direction through two beads, let's say. Okay. And now what I want to do is take just one white bead and I go back through this black one just like this and I pull. Okay, then I will repeat this. I'm taking one white bead and I'm going back through this black bead that I'm exiting out of like this. I pull gently and you see I have something like a loop between my black bead and my white bead. Then I go in the next bead just like this and I take one more white and now just to save time I'm going through this black and through the following black as well because then I will be exactly where I want to be and won't do another movement. Okay, so I'm here and I'll show you one more time. Okay, pulling gently because I don't want to have some knots on my thread. And I will continue this guys four more times and I'll meet you here at the last step. Okay guys, and I'm here at my last step at my 8 bead that I added here. The same way, if you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video, see the first four steps and repeat them. They are absolutely the same. Now I'm going through this white bead and what I want to do guys is flip my work because I'm right-handed and it's easier for me to go in this direction. If it's easier for you, just go in the other direction. Okay, and I take one white bead and I go through the following white. 
Now I'm just going to be filling the gaps. Then another white and go here. And it's really easy to fill in these gaps. It is a really pleasant row. Okay, I'm showing you this three times. And I'll let you do this by yourself. Just filling the gaps and meet me here. Okay guys, and this is the last gap I'm filling here. And now in this row I have 16 beads. I added 8 and then 8 between them. So there are 16. And now in this row I'm going to start adding a white, a black and a white. Okay, this uh, the sequence of 3. And as I'm exiting through one of my white beads, I'm skipping the one that's on my way and I'm going through the following. Okay, this is what I have now. And I pull. Okay. Then what I do is the same thing. A white, a black and a white. I skip the one that's on my way and I go through the following. You see each row consists of really easy steps that I'm sure you could follow one by one. So you will be able to make the whole thing. Okay, and now I have three. Skip the one that's on my way and I go through the following. Okay, and repeat these steps until the end and you should have eight of those loops of three beads and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And I'm going here through the very first white bead that I started this whole row from. And I'm pulling. Then in my next row, I'm going through this white here next to the black. And I want to add a white, a black and a white. And I'm skipping the black one. And I go here through this white. Then I go through the following white like this. And I'm going to take one dark orange bead and I'm going back through this white and through the one after that. You see where I'm going through these two white beads back in circle. Just like this. Then what I want to add is again white, black, white. Okay. Skip the black and go through the following two whites just like this. You see where I'm going. And I'm pulling. Then I need one orange. And go back through these two white beads that I've just been through. Back in circle. Okay. Just like this. And I'll show you one more time. And let you do this by yourself until the end. White, black, white. Go through the next two white beads just like this. And then here add one orange. Okay. So these three steps that I'm showing here, you should repeat until the end. If you forget how I'm doing them, just rewind the video and repeat this, this and this until the end and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and I'm just adding my last orange bead from this row. And what I do now is that I want to add a white, a black and a white. And I go through this white here and also if you can in one movement go through the orange and through the next white. Okay, here is what you do. And then I pull. Okay, now I have this. 
and in my next I'm adding white black white again and I'm going through these three white orange white beads you see what I do and I pull gently okay and I'm going to show you one more time and let you do this by yourself because this is what I'm gonna be doing until the end of this row just adding white black white going through the white orange and white all the time all the eight times until the end of this row okay that's it okay i'll do this off camera and i'll meet you here okay guys and here i am where i just added this last white black white i went through the white orange and white and now what i want to do is a similar thing i'm going through this white and again i want to take white black white okay and i go here through the first white skip the black one and go through the first white like i did before so many times and here what i need are two orange beads okay and i go in this white one here like this then again i need a white a black and a white okay skip the black one and go through the first white everything like i did before just here at this step i add two orange beads dark orange beads okay and i go through the first white here like this then bl white black white and go through the first white just like this and then add two orange beads and go here in this white okay and i'm gonna be doing this until the end of this row if you forgot how i'm doing it feel free to rewind and repeat these steps until the end and i'll meet you okay guys and i'm adding here my last two orange beads and i need to add one more white black white okay and i'm going here then in my next step i want to go through the orange and exit here next to the black again and guess what i'm adding white black white and i skip here this one and go through the following white now here what i'm going to add is a dark orange a light orange and a dark orange and if you're using only one color just add three orange beads okay so now i'm going through this white here like this and then i need a white a black and a white okay skip the black and go through the following white like i did all the time from the beginning then i need a dark a light and a dark orange okay and i go here in the white i need white black white and skip the black one and go through the through the white orange beads dark white light dark and i go here and you know guys i always show you the first three steps of a row and then you continue the same way feel free to rewind as i told you already okay see you in a while okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last three beads from this row and in, in my next row what i'm gonna be adding is just white black white so it is the same way i showed you before take these three beads go here 
and then go through all of those beads in this direction like this and then again white black white skip this and go through all of those And as you know, I'm showing every step three times. Okay. And I will continue until the end and I'll be back. Okay, guys. And here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. I'm adding them just like this. And now what I want to do is go here through this central light orange bead and I want to add one light orange and two dark orange beads and I'm going here in the last white bead just like this then I go like this and I'm going to add this time the other way around two dark orange beads and one light orange and I'm going here in this central light orange then I'm going to continue this a light orange and two dark orange beads always put the light orange next to the light orange so now I have this then I go through the top three white black white and I need two dark orange beads, one light orange and I go here in the central light orange bead then again a light orange and two dark orange beads and I go here through these top three beads white black white just like this again two dark orange beads and one light orange and I go here in the central light orange okay and I'm going to continue these guys until the end and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I have two dark orange beads and one light orange and when I go here in the central light orange, my row is finished. And what I want to do in the next row is just fill the gap that I did here. Go through the two dark orange beads. And here add just one dark orange and go here like this you see and in this row that's all I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be filling this gap here and everything will go nice and straight okay see you when i'm done okay and now what i want to do is go through the white and through the black after that and as i'm here what i want to pick up are seven white beads okay and i have my seven beads and i'm going in the next black one Don't pull too tight at these steps, just place them gently here. Okay, I'll show you one more time. Seven white beads. Okay. I have seven. And go through the next black. And place them gently without pulling too much. Okay. Then I will continue this adding 777 and I'll meet you here. 
Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last seven beads from this row. Just place them gently. Okay, now what I want to do is go through all of these seven. All of those. And I want to add three black beads. Okay, three of them. And I'm going in the next seven. Here in this row, don't pull, just gently place them. If you pull, they will bend a little bit. Okay, then again, what I need are three black beads. And I go through all of the seven. Okay, then again three and go through all of the seven beads. Okay, and I will continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row and I pull really gently. And what I want to do next is go in this direction to all of the three beads. Keep the central one, by the way, like this. And go through the following to make a little bit of angle here. Okay. Now take seven black beads. Okay, and I have my seven black beads here. And as I'm exiting from this black, I'm skipping the whites and going in the following black. And again, I'm pulling really gently, like this. Then I skip the one here in the center and I go through the following black, just to pop this angle a little bit. Okay. Then again, I'm going to take seven black beads Okay, I have my seven here and I'm going in the first of these three black beads, placing it gently here. Okay, then I'm skipping the one here at the center and going through the next one pulling it a little bit to this side to form an angle. Now guys, I'm going to continue this until the end and when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you how to attach your earring finding. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last seven beads from this row. Okay. I pull, not too tight, but just enough to place them nicely. Okay. Now what I want to do is take one of my old gold color earring findings and I want to take two black beads. Then I want to take my earring finding and then I want to take two more black beads. Okay. This is what I have here on my needle. And as I'm exiting from this black bead, I'm going back in circle through this one as one more time. Okay, then I want to reinforce this joint here. Okay, now my earring finding is attached and all I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread and how I'm doing it. I make here a loop and I go once and I go second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull and then I'm going through some beads in this direction 
and all I want to do is cut my thread. And now guys, my earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my beaded oranges seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't for more videos like this. And you help me so much by liking, sharing and commenting. Thank to all of you that do this down there in description you will find a full list of materials link for paypal donations to support and develop this channel also links to my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials and you will see why should you become a member of this channel now click on the video that's showing on your screens and continue watching bye bye from me